Uh, we joined uh, by Coach Molefin Tseki, coach of the home team, Kaiser Chiefs. Coach, you hosted uh, Chipper United in your first game as head coach of Kaiser Chiefs, the first game of the season. Your impression of the game in 90 minutes, just the summary version. Uh, thanks very much. And uh, is it good afternoon, good evening, members of the media? I think when we look at um, the different phases of the game, I think um, we still have got a lot of work to work on. Um, how we shape out of possession, what are the movements uh, in the last set when we are in possession, how do we work on our set plays. So um, all the questions that we came across uh, this afternoon, um, we have noted and then we'll be working and improving on that. But I think um, we did very well uh, in certain moments of the game, especially when we were making um, millefield rotation in creating those pockets for us to play forward and to make those uh, forward runs. But I think um, we lacked uh, more of penetration, especially in the last set. And we did not take much off shots at goals uh, just to call for the keeper and the defenders to make saves. I think uh, in terms of possession, um, we had uh, a fairly good possession of the game, but uh, possession doesn't win new games. What you wanted to see happening was us uh, getting into the last set and then threatening the goals. When it comes to set plays, I think uh, we had uh, a few um, a number of set plays. And I think uh, if you can't win the game in an open, uh, in an open time, uh, you need to make use of the set plays and convert those set plays. Uh, defensively on the side of the set place, I think we did very well. Um, when we were dealing with uh, the wide set plays, uh, when we were dealing with the corner kicks. So somehow, in terms of our assessment of the performance of the team, um, we are happy. Uh, even though in football, we are not happy because we did not win the game, the game that we wanted to win. And we prepared to win um, this game. But uh, that's football for you. It is one of those... Uh, games where you don't score, but the good thing about it is that uh, we do not concede. Thank you very much, Coach. As we move over to members of the media, your question and uh, as well as your, your name and the name of your publication. Thank you. Java? Yeah, let's go. Good uh, evening, Coach. I have a news from Ghana Safe and Sports. Coach, I just want to find out if um, you're happy about your team going forward in terms of how many chances they created and obviously the conversion of those chances. Just uh, speak to us about the attacking front and your assessment on that. Thank you. Yeah, I think, uh, like I said, uh, the last third entries, um, it's very important if you have to win games. If you can't win games from uh, combinations and penetrations, like I said, you have to make use of the set plays. If I were to say I'm happy with the, with the front three or our last third entries, um, I'm not. I'm not because uh, we needed to create more of those chances. We needed to bury more of those chances. And I think uh, having Ranga playing for the first time since he joined the team today, um, of which uh, he was not 100% uh, um, uh, coming from a, a, a medical uh, situation, um, we can only build on this in terms of uh, the understanding of the front three uh, the movements, uh, how do you move opponents, how do you create those spaces to score. So I think uh, it calls for us to say, let's go back and work on our last third entries so that we can score more goals and also create more chances. Coach, you probably took my number to sit down. You talk about penetration, you're struggling to, to get the good rap, I mean, the good passes in the front of that. Are you worried about that? going in the next game against Sundowns, uh, and also just give us an update on Jolie's injury. How, how far is he now? His injury? Jolie's injury. Yeah, let's start with uh, uh, how we prepared for, for the season. And I think uh, how we prepared for the season, we had too many of our attackers uh, being on the, on the injury list. 
Uh, that is why it was a bit difficult to have um, the right combination, the right understanding, uh, the right tactical cohesion, especially going forward. And I think, uh, like I said, with uh, Ranga coming in, uh, with Potsani also coming in, um, we missed uh, the likes of Moody today. Um, these are the players that uh, will be coming back into the team and then we'll be working on those uh, faces and moments of the, of the game where we have to create more goals and then score from those situations. They applied a very deep defensive block, which was making it difficult for us to get uh, behind the defence. And then it called for us to be more of combinations, trying to move the defenders. So when that did not happen, um, we had um, the white players uh, creating one v ones on the side and taking them on. But uh, at the same time, whenever we were to put a cross in, uh, they always had numbers. So I think um, a deep block approach for them really worked for them. And uh, from our side, uh, we now know uh, and we knew that uh, in our preparation, there will be those teams that will be playing from a counter-attack situation, applying a very deep block. And that's exactly what happened today. As for Dolly, I think uh, the medical team will give us an update on that. Um, unfortunately for now, he's still not uh, training with, uh, with the team uh, to be ready for the season. Uh, coach, on Friday when you spoke uh, with the Kune, uh, there were a lot of uh, conversations that have been happening before the start of the season. Uh, fans not confident enough about the team because of the last eight years without a trophy. With this type of news, because we asked Kune for the he said the only way to respond is kind of change is to go away on the field and win games and win trophies. With this, with this performance today, would you say it gives confidence to the fans that are worried about the club? Yeah, I think the most important thing is, uh, is the fans and the club doing well. Um, they are all disappointed uh, because of uh, the background where we come from. But the reality of the situation is that uh, we have got new players, new technical team, and we are working very hard uh, to, to get uh, good performances, and good performances will give us good results. Unfortunately, it is something that we cannot just say and say, we're going to win all the games because we have got competitors, we have got able um, teams and coaches that are also preparing for us. So it's a competition. Uh, that is why we have got uh, 16 teams in the league. And all of us, um, we have our eyes on, on the trophy. And in our preparation and the quality of players we have and in terms of our performances, yes, we are all looking forward uh, to turn things around. So, um, I don't know. Uh, coach, um, we had uh, four of your new players starting today, in match today. What was your impression of, of all that uh, you found I think uh, what we did uh, towards the end of the year was to do what you call a squad audit. And uh, in the squad audit, um, uh, a few players were recruited long before the end of the season because uh, we're looking forward to the new season to beef up and to strengthen the team. And uh, with the new players that were brought to the team, uh, these are good quality players. I think you have done a very good profile on them. That is why we see some of them uh, play. Uh, some of them play today, and I must say they did very well. Uh, you can see uh, we did not make a mistake to bring uh, this uh, these players into the team. The only thing is uh, us going forward. How do they gel? How do they get to understand that every game we play, it's, it has to be a win? And uh, when things are like this, it's a disappointment. But at the same time, they need to be mentally strong going forward, because we can't dwell much on on the setback. We have to change things around and be positive uh, going forward. So I think uh, the four players that uh, played today um, with uh, Potsani coming in, uh, with Given uh, at the back and TT, the combination is very good. Um, I think uh, when you look at um, Edson Castillo, who has never played in South Africa, you see so much quality in him, so much intelligence in terms of how he manages the game in possession and of possession. So I think uh, uh, the future looks very bright for the club in terms of the quality of players we have currently. Just told on before that, this camera is disturbing something. Can is, is... Okay. So secondly, last one for me. Are you still on, on the lookout? Are you still hunting for that deadly striker? Because we can see that uh, up front there, you still need that deadly striker. Yeah, I think all the players, all the players uh, that are registered with the club, uh, we have to protect them. 
And in protecting them, we have to get the best out of each of them. And then they have to, to play well as a team. And when they play well as a team, I think the supporters will obviously be behind the team. But if one player um, has got a bad game, it is the responsibility of us as the technical team to help him in terms of the mistakes that he might be making and so that you can also enjoy playing the game. Because if you don't enjoy playing the game, that's when the concentration levels uh, goes down. And when the concentration levels goes down, you end up making very silly mistakes. And I think um, with his performance today, um, I think he was the most dangerous player we had on the pitch, except for those uh, decisions of maybe giving away the ball or not converting those chances. But he was the most effective player that we had on the pitch. And I think uh, even at halftime, he was given that confidence to say, you are doing very well. Uh, the only thing that has to happen now is for you to assist or for you to score. And I think he carried himself very well. Um, like I said, uh, he was the most effective player we had on the pitch for, for, for the 90 minutes. When it comes to recruitment, I think uh, a big club like Kaiser Chiefs will always be looking for quality. If there is quality elsewhere and we have done a proper profiling of uh, uh, such players or such a player, um, we'll always be looking into reinforcing the team and bringing such a player. We'll take you as the last one. If not, uh, we'll take yours as the last one. Maybe you understand the game differently. It was a game of two teams competing to win the game. And uh, both teams created chances. Both teams were under pressure, under siege in some certain stages of the game. And uh, I'm not going to to speak on behalf of the other coach or the other team. I think uh, our team did very well defensively. Like I said, um, offensively we can do better in, in, in converting the chances and in creating more chances. Thank you, Coach. This will be... Okay, let's take yours. Uh, coach Stepe from Dundee Radio. Um, big match next coming up for Kaiser Chiefs against the champions of Sundance. A big performance will be required. Uh, from your place, but do you feel losing in the dressing room? You have the big personalities, the leaders with big characters who can deliver for the club when it matters most. Because I've seen last season and the previous years, certain players tend to to hide when you know when when it gets tough. But do you feel like this time around you have enough leaders with big personalities to carry the club and eventually win trophies in the future? I think, like I said, we have reinforced the team. Uh, in all the departments. Uh, we saw the performance of the, of the captain today, uh, the goalkeeper. He did very well. He was uh, very focused the whole game. And in terms of uh, how he wanted to play from the back, I think he carried himself very well. And then when you look at the players that we brought in uh, to strengthen the team to come and add value, um, we are happy with their performance today and we can only get better. And going into sundowns, I think um, we all know it's a big game. Even our players know it's a big game. And we are all looking forward to, uh, to a good performance, and a good performance, obviously, with good results. I think uh, uh, that is what is important for us now, to say mentally we are ready, tactically we are going to, uh, to work on the strengths and weaknesses of our opposition team, and then we will be also exerting ourselves in terms of uh, what our best qualities. Last one. Uh, Coach, uh, just uh, your message to Kaiser Chief fans. Uh, we're still doubting the team this season and moving forward as we have four trophies to fight for this season. Yeah, look, I think uh, the disappointment has been too long and um, we might be look to be under pressure currently. Uh, because of uh, the disappointment that the, the supporters have been experiencing in the, in the past. Like I said, the technical team and the players are looking forward to do their best and to give back to the supporters. Because when you look at uh, the, the, the numbers we had today, uh, they were looking forward for the team to win uh, this game uh, because they have, they have last won a game, I think, uh, seven games in the past. So uh, we are fully aware and this is uh, more of a motivation from us to do well and to make our supporters happy. And because when our supporters are happy, uh, that's when we'll be able to say we are love and peace.